you feel the effects of alcohol when you drink? How does it make? What does it make you feel? Like when you drink, what does it make you feel? Do you think you're under the influence of alcohol? I feel like I want to go home and be with my mom. I want to go sleep and yeah. I want to hang out with my mom. Unfortunately, we are going to place you under arrest for DUI. We do have probable cause to believe that your normal faculties are impaired and you're unable to operate a motor vehicle safely, okay? On November 24, 2022, Trooper Liam is questioning a 24-year-old woman who was involved in a single car accident after leaving her mother's house on Thanksgiving. She exhibits signs of impairment, including bloodshot eyes and the odor of alcohol on her breath. Would you be willing to perform those? I'm sorry. That's fine. Okay. Yes. And my name's Trooper Liam. I'm going to be assisting Deputy sure, Magnuson right here, okay? Here, okay? All right, before we go any further, we do have to read you something. All right, so we're going to go ahead and read it to you, okay? Yes. Right? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to uh, to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning, if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. you understand the rights I have requested of you? And with that in mind, would you be willing to talk to us now? Yes. Okay, come on up to the front of my car here, okay? So what what happened? I know I I know I asked you in the car there, but what exactly happened? I was staying in my mom's house. I'm going home. What do you live at? Okay. I I'm sorry to hear that. So, so I don't know if you saw the front end of your car right, right yeah. here. I mean, there's some significant damage. You said you did a curve. It, but it was. I, it wasn't a car. I know it wasn't a vehicle. It, it was a curve. Do you know where you may have hit that? I, it was somewhere. It, it was somewhere on my way to where you stopped me. Like, okay. from leaving my mom's house. It had to have been, like, five miles, maybe. Okay. It wasn't... Do you know your mom's address? It was... I don't I don't know her exact, like, number, but I know it's... You. Yeah. In the U section? Yeah. All right, I'm going to ask you a couple questions, okay? And then once I'm done with the questioning, Deputy Magnuson's going to take over here, okay? Just got a couple basic questions for you, all right? Are you injured at all? When you were in the crash, did you suffer any type of injuries? You got nothing wrong? I don't see any airbag deployment. I don't see nothing like that. Rescue's already checked you out, correct? And no, no, I mean, no. Nobody's, like, checked me out, but I'm fine. The fire risk, well, what I mean by checking they out They asked is, me if I was okay. I said yes. Okay. So. But nothing like, you, you know, no I, broken legs, I mean, I, no nothing like that. No. Okay. It sounds stupid. I just, I have I to know, ask no, you to make sure. All right. Do you have any medical conditions? Okay. Do you take med prescription medication for those? Um, I should, I used to. I used to. You currently? Not currently. You don't currently take them anymore. Have you had any head trauma? in your lifetime? Not, not that I know of. Well, I mean, like, mm -hmm. have, have you ever, like, you know, no, younger? Not that I've experienced. Okay. Like, when I was yeah. younger, I skateboarded. I hit my head when yes. I saw that. I'm not, talking stuff Not that like I've that. been consciously aware of, no. Okay. Nothing, eyes. no issues with your eyes? Not. Do you wear um, contacts? I mean, no. I mean, I have um, astigmatism. Okay. But I don't have glasses or anything. So you're not you don't have like a glass eye, a fake eye, you never had any eye injuries, eye trauma, no, nothing like that. You go to the dentist regularly? Um I should, but we I don't all, we all should. I, I mean I don't no, I don't. Okay. I don't go to the dentist regularly. So you don't you no prescriptions, nothing from a dentist or nothing. I like mean that. no, I had braces but I haven't been probably in two years. I had braces in Yeah, I mean I haven't been in a while. I mean my teeth are great, so I don't Okay. I don't know. No, I don't. These questions sound stupid, but I'm just, no, you know, I'm just, just asking them for, you know, my education and clarification. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, do you take any, um, I already asked you that. Um, do you have any issues 
with your arms or legs, anything that would prevent you from standing for long periods of time, walking, nothing like that at all. Okay. Without looking at a watch, what time do you think it is right now? I don't know, 1 30. 1 .30? A day or night? Night. Okay. Okay. Now, I do. The reason we pulled you out of the vehicle and the reason we're conducting the criminal investigation for the suspicion of driving under the influence, okay? You were in a traffic accident. The traffic accident happened at a residence by your mom's house, okay? You hit a building, right? Whether, whether or not you know, you're aware of that or not. So, there's some significant fire damage on there as well. Also, when I was talking with you in the car, you smelled the odor of alcohol coming from your breath, right? Your eyes are also a little bit watery with bloodshot. So, we want to make... We just want to make sure that you're okay and whether or not you're impaired or under the influence of alcohol. That's the purpose of these questions and what we're asking you, okay? So if you don't mind me asking, what have you, what did you have to drink tonight? Um, I had a few, I had two vodka cranberries with my mom. Okay. And that's it. I mean, that's all I've had to drink. Two vodka cranberries? When did you stop drinking? I mean, it's an hour, two, two hours ago now. So about, a, about an hour, two hours ago yeah. is when you had your last drink? Okay. When you were drinking, did you have, things, did you have dinner? Thanksgiving dinner? Um, no, I avoided it. I was super anxious, I wasn't hungry. Yeah, it's the first things we made without my parents being together. So okay. okay. So you didn't, you, you didn't have anything to eat with. I I had like bites, but I didn't know I had. Not to eat like a meal. full meal, just kind of snacking. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Well, he's got some stuff for you. He's gonna ask you to do some of the exercises. I'm gonna go to assist him. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Can you state your name for me? Uh, Michael Um. Yeah, just stay right there. You can just hang tight right there for me, alright? I assume I'm probably 120 now. My eyes are brown. Okay, how old are you? I'm 24. And I know uh, my partner asked you, but do you have any problems with your back, legs, balance, speech? No. Are you currently being treated by a doctor for anything besides what you had uh, mentioned before? No. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate some field sobriety exercises and then ask you to perform these exercises. I do not begin or attempt these exercises until I tell you to begin. Part of my determination of whether you're intoxicated... Okay. Part of my determination of whether you're intoxicated or not is your ability to follow these instructions. Do you understand? Will you attempt these exercises? All right. All right, the first exercise is going to be the horizontal gaze nystagmus. <clears throat> I'm going to check your eyes. Are you wearing contacts? All right, I'm gonna have you stand with your feet together by your side and keep your head still and follow the tip of my pen with your eyes. Keep your arms by your side. Okay. Stand with your feet together and your arms by your side. Keep your head still and follow the tip of my pen with your eyes, okay? This is the tip of my pen. I want you to reach up with your right hand and touch the tip of my pen. Okay and continue to follow the pen until told to stop. Do you understand? Yes,
Uh, the next one is going to be up and down, okay? You can relax for a second. All right, the next exercise uh, we're gonna do is gonna be the walk and turn exercise. So before we get started, you can relax for a second, okay? I'm just gonna lay this line down. Yes, sir. Hey, dude, this is just saying you're not going to come down to the hospital with the fire department. This is just your signature, just saying that you're not going to come down. There's no bill. I understand there's a lot going on. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes, sir. All right, thanks, guys. All right, you can stand right over here. All right, the next, like I said, the next exercise we're gonna do is the walk and turn. So what I want you to do is place your left foot on the line and place your right foot in front of the left foot with your heel touching your toe. All right. Stand with your arms by your side and maintain this position until I tell you to begin. Do not start until told to do so, okay? Make sure she's heel to toe. All right, before we get started, uh, adjust your feet so you're heel to toe, okay? Would you be more comfortable without your shoes on? I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, uh, if you're more comfortable without your shoes on, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. Or if you want to keep them on, it's completely up to you. All right. So place your left foot on the line and place your right foot in front of the left foot front of the left foot with your heel touching your toe. All right, stand with your arms at your side and maintain this position until told, uh, until told to do so, okay? When I tell you to begin, you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps on the line. Turn and take nine heel to toe steps back. When you turn, keep your front foot on the line and turn by taking a series of small steps uh, with the other foot while you're with the other foot. While you're walking, keep your arms at your side. Look down at your feet. Look down at your feet and count each step out loud. Once you begin walking, do not stop until you have completed the exercise. If you step off the line, step back on the line and continue where you left off. Okay? So it's going to look like this. I'm going to demonstrate it for you, okay? Except you're going to be on the line. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you're gonna continue on this until you do a series of nine steps. I'm just doing three for my demonstration, okay? Once you begin, or again, once you begin walking, do not stop until you have completed the exercise. If you step off the line, step back on the line and continue where you left off. Do you understand the instructions? You said nine? Nine. Okay. And you're gonna start with your left foot, place your left foot on the line and your right foot in front of your left foot. Okay. All right, and make sure you're heel to toe with your arms by your side. Thank you. 
the best you have any questions before you begin. Do you have any questions before you begin? No? It's not. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Okay, what happens if I fail? Well, it's not a pass or a fail thing. We're just going through the exercise to determine if it's uh, safe for you to drive. So, man, okay? it's, it's, what it is, it's an evaluation. All right? It's not a pass or fail. It's so I'm exercise. freaking out right now. Okay. I've never been through any of this. You need a moment? Do so. you need a second to catch your breath and to kind of... Oh, I didn't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Well, you said you said you have anxiety, okay? So that's Very why I want to just, just take a, take a moment, take a moment, catch your breath, catch yourself, okay? These exercises, all right? What they are is they are um, they're standardized and systematic. What they're from and the creative is from the, um, the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration. We're not getting all the nitty and gritty details. Um, we do this on every single DUI investigation. There's no special tricks or gimmicks or anything like that. We're not making it up as we go. All we're trying to do is make sure that you are okay and that you are either under the influence or not under the influence at the time of the crash, okay? That's all we're trying just, to do is... I just want it all. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. Let's. Why don't we finish these up and then we'll... We'll, we'll make a determination from, from there, okay? We still got two more or one more exercise after this to do, right? So if you need a moment to collect yourself, go ahead and collect yourself. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, mm -hmm. yeah. if something didn't seem clear or something didn't seem right, just ask, ask the deputy here and he'll make sure. Can you contact my mom? Your, mom, your mom's here. Okay, but we need to we need to finish this beforehand. Okay, All right? Okay. All right. So with that being said, I'm gonna have you uh, place your left foot on the line and your right foot in front of your left foot with your heel uh, heel touching heel to toe. Do you remember the instructions? All right. You may begin. Yes. Okay. Okay, ma'am. The next exercise we're going to do is the one leg, the one leg stand. So what I'm going to have you do is stand with your feet together and your arms by your side. Do not begin the exercise until told to do so. Do you understand? When I tell you to begin, I want you to uh, raise one leg, either leg, whatever's more comfortable, approximately six inches off the ground and keep your foot parallel to the ground. You must keep both legs straight and your arms at your side. While you're holding that position, count out loud in the following manner. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, until told to stop. Okay. While you're accounting, look down at your raised foot and keep your arms by your side. Okay? I'm gonna demonstrate this for you, okay? 1001, 1002, 1003, and so on until I tell you to stop, okay? Do you understand the instructions? You may begin. Okay, you can relax. All right, we have one more exercise to perform, okay? This is the fingers and nose exercise. What I'm gonna have you do is stand with your feet together and your arms by your side. Do not begin uh, this exercise until told to do so. Do you understand? 
When told to begin, close your eyes, tilt your head back, and point your index finger towards the ground. When told, bring the hand that I direct. Uh, bring the hand that I direct upward and touch the tip of the finger to the tip of your nose. Okay. So this this is the tip of your finger right here. This is the pad. Okay. I want you to use the tip of your finger to touch the tip of your nose. Okay. And, and then automatically uh, return your hand back to your side and wait for the next command. Uh, you will be asked to do this three times with each hand. Do not open your eyes until uh, the exercise is over. And I'm going to demonstrate this for you, okay? So. The only difference is my eyes are going to be open for officer safety, but your eyes are going to be closed, okay? So you're going to be here, right? right, left, and so on as directed, okay? Do you understand the, uh, do you understand the exercise? Do you have any questions before we get started? I mean, do I just stay like this? Yes, so you're gonna stand with your feet together and your arms by your side. Okay. So you, and you're gonna tilt your head back, point your index fingers towards the ground, and when told, uh, when told, bring the hand that I direct to touch the tip of your finger to the tip of your nose. And then automatically return the hand back by your side and wait for the next command. You'll be asked to do this three times with each hand. And do not open your eyes until you are told the exercise is over. Do you understand? Close my eyes. Yes. Tilt your head backwards. Right. Right. Left. Left. Right. Left. Ma'am, you can go ahead and put your shoes back on, okay? You hear what I said? Yeah. Don't put your shoes back on for us, all right? Go ahead. We're just going to walk right back on. Yeah. Here, do you mind hanging on the door? So we got, we got a couple oh. more, we got a couple more questions that we're going to ask you. Okay, relax. We're all done, we're all done with the exercises and such, right? There's a couple questions we're going to ask you about the back of my fire. We're, uh, okay. we're just going to take a walk back here, okay? Right this way. Alright. Uh, so, see where the blue lights are on that car? Just come right up here real quick, okay? So let me ask you this. Right. On a scale of 1 to 10, on a scale of okay. 0 to 10, alright? 0 being completely sober, 10 being... Like fall down drunk, you're, you're blacked out. What do you six. think you're Do you think you're a six? Seven, maybe. I mean, it's the first Thanksgiving I've had without my parents being together. It's okay. hard Thanksgiving. Do you feel the effects of alcohol when you drink? How does it make? What does it make you feel? Like when you drink, what does it make you feel? Okay. Do you think you're under the influence of alcohol? I feel like I want to go home and be with my mom. Okay. I want to go sleep, and well, I want to hang out with my mom. Unfortunately, we are going to place you under arrest for DUI, okay? So you're going to put your hands behind your back. We do have probable cause to believe that your normal faculties are impaired and you're unable to operate a motor vehicle safely, okay? When you get to the jail, Deputy Magnusine is going to ask you to do a breath test, okay? Are you BTO? You are? The deputies here are going to ask you to provide a breath test, right? Is there a female deputy? Is that what you The purpose of the breath She's test is to determine the alcohol content that's in your breath, okay? You don't have to answer that right here and right now, but just think about it, okay? Okay. 
Um, did you want to put the... Here, we're going to head right over here, okay? <laughs> just hold on. I'm just going to check the back of my car real quick, okay? Alright. Before I put you in the back of my car, I'm just going to do a quick pat down on you, okay? Do you have any uh, weapons on you? Anything that's going to stick me, prick me, prick me? Hey, uh, Debbie Punsky, do you mind standing over here for anything on you that's going to stick me, poke me, prick me? No. Cell phone, wallet, keys, anything? I, I, I don't have, I have my phone, I have my vape, and that's true. Okay, where, well, what pocket is your vape in? My front, my front right. Your front right pocket? I think okay. so. Alright, I'm just going to do a quick pack down on you, okay? <laughs> This is your phone here. I'm going to take it out, all right? Are you sure your vape is on you? No. No. I mean, I assume my right pocket, if anything. Right your right here, front my pocket? My right front pocket. That's the only place it would be. Otherwise, no, I don't have it on me. Okay. Alright. And then I'm just going to take your watch off, okay? Just so it doesn't get crossed in the cuffs. It's easier if you turn around and face towards me and go and butt first. Watch your head. Do a photo to your bumper. Do a photo. 